morning and we are here at White Pines Forest State Park. As you can see, this is the last parking area here. And we're about to go do that trail. But I wanted to show you the amenities. You do have a toilet, trash can with raccoons get in. Lots and lots of little camping fire pits and picnic table. And tons and tons of parking. This is an old limestone bridge to the lower pine creek oh. people fish in this. this is all limestone there's trails to go up in there and there's trails to go up in there as well to the cabins and whatnot and there's another trail that goes up here with old timber there's trail to go to the right and there's trail to go down here to the left so Consider this our unsupposed difficulty Sleepy Hollow Trail, 1.2 mile difficulty hard. As you can see, that's what it looks like. Down here is another trail, and if you walk back here, it's all flat. There's a little creek here, and there's like outside uh, chimney that they used to do. Eventually kayak this, which is not legal. Oops. So we're gonna do uh, Sleepy Hollow Trail. I really don't have any uh, bug spray with me, so I hope I don't get a lot of ticks. You can see the rocky terrain here. I just use a whole pole <laughs> for your handrail. Hand -rail. They're just walking up roots and stuff. As you're walking, you can see like an overblow. Lots of roots everywhere. You do have to be kind of careful. There are timber rattlers. Although it's like 50 degrees outside, you shouldn't have to worry about it in a fall time. You can see below how high you are on both sides. I have some nice little pine trees. Even. Not really a trail. I think it's just from it washing out. Winter time, it's fall time. Towards the end of the same summer season, it's cool. And it's a really enjoyable hike. It's 7.30. Campground's gonna be you know, far enough from here, you don't have to worry about it.
get to a point on this trail where there's a bench. And when you sit down on this bench, you're looking over and Sun Mai, that's the right area where this bench faces. And it's an old limestone railroad bridge. It seems to be a teen hangout. And it is a active line still. Still use it today. I still use this bridge. Smells amazing here. It's probably another short trail. There it is, a trail that comes up from below. You can get to from here. Trail from down to there. So, dead ends here. Trail to come to the left, and that's the trail we're going to be following soon. But I just wanted to show you this uh, this bench with an amazing view, and you can see the water down below when it's not all grown up. So yeah, it's kind of a shelter, but not really shelter on one side. It's timber is. Uh, it should be six by six or five by six timber. It's nice and thick, solid wood. These things have been here forever. And a date of 68 on here somewhere. Okay. I've mentioned a view. You can see the water down below. And once it's not all gone up, you could have seen the bridge from here. There's another trail that goes off that way. I think that's just the bridge. We'll go there eventually. Not today. I just want to do one trail and then show the others. I'll keep going on this. I think this beach down below, where it's the uh, furnaces I was talking about. They're like 15, 20 feet tall limestone furnaces out in the middle of the woods, essentially. And lots of pine needles, pine cones, and pine trees here. That are called white pines. I would assume that white pine trees are the ones that are like this tree here. They're the most common trees here. Okay. And it looks like a trail, but I don't keep going this way because I don't know what that trail goes to. It looks like structures or something over there, but yeah, 
I'm not interested in finding out. Is it? That may part of me, uh, train bridge or something. Nice, I'm not actually getting it's the main again soon. This time frame, excellent for camping, waking up, nice cool morning, start your wood fire. Oh, it's just a one drink in, plan your day, plan something, being outside. Little rabbit trails here. I don't know if we're trying another orange first, we might be on the right trail. I haven't done this in about 15 years. Yeah, there's an orange bus there. So the train is not terrible. Definitely not an elevation issue. Definitely not any heat problems. No wooden bridge here. <laughs> that is interesting. In this area, there's not a shy area of hiking. Turn to little places such as Castle Rock, not too far down the road. They got steps like this. There's uh, Franklin Creek State Park. You notice we're walking down and down and down. I don't know if you can hear any birds. This is a benefit of being hearing. I'll just show them off there. It's cool. Look at all the mushrooms. That's kind of neat. But you're here, you can enjoy the view. I mean, look at that. All around you. Here's Star Rock, about an hour and a half from this area. Here's uh, Matheson's State Park, which is five miles from Star Rock. There's Makokota Caves. It's just about an hour and a half from here. It's in Iowa. There's all kinds of little different places everywhere. So this is going to be the area. I said you had to cross the streams and stuff. Feels like we're going to the right. We'll go back this way in a minute. This might go back up to the top. Check out the, uh, the rock bluffs here to the left. Ferns and stuff going. It's very pretty. We're just going to be walking across this little, uh, the Pine Creek here. Nice general sounds. Look at that. There's some fish swimming. This is the scenic. It's the scenic views you see in Illinois. 
a lot of limestone everywhere. I probably would get my feet wet, but well, sometimes you just gotta get your feet wet. Okay, that looked cool. Enjoy the view again over this little Babylon Creek. All right. Nothing but in the woods all around here. You know, in summertime, this could be treacherous with uh, mosquitoes, probably deer flies. You see a giant rock block right up here. While we're here, we can enjoy the view. Might not hurry. That's cool. You know, people don't get out and do this. You don't see it if you're not capable of doing this. Shortage of the videos I do. Virtually take people for hikes. Once I get out and get some exercise. The only thing you lack from these videos is not smelling. Showing the cold air, the brisk air in the morning. Smelling the, the dirt, the, the light leaves, the trees. There's another little crossing. These stepping stones are typical in these areas like this. See how you got a rock block down there. This water must got it high enough so you can see one of the pillars is washed away. So well, there's tree branches and logs. That's what people used to step across. I believe this might have to go back up. Might make a full loop. I may have taken in a long turn somewhere. But, you know, there's a little small trail going out that way. You never lost, you're just wondering, right? Look at this, this is cool. And again, with the rocks. All this rock brush and stuff. Man, that's so cool. going to the left. If it is just a difficult trail, it's not terrible. I've been on much, much worse. It's just a difficult, it's just leisure to most people. Nice cool to do here. I'm going back up. 
probably to the side trail and then I thought it was a uh, side trail. You can see the scenery to the left. Okay. Okay. Quite another waterway. I'm going to go over to the left. We're going to the right. There's the orange first there. And I haven't been across here. Let's go straight. Where the heck? Uh, I can go left. There's an orange first there. We'll see what it's about. If it points this direction, and we'll keep going to that other direction. There's a lot of standing water here. Where your water shoes, folks? That was sketchy. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I you know we're just like a, a leap of faith or we just walk around, but I've been born. Yeah, so uh, the stairs that just went down to. Alright, I'm walking in circles. Got me. Oh well. Let's go this way. And the shoes were at that time to dry out. Looks like deer. Yeah. Deer and maybe some uh, coyote or uh, a dog. And human footprints. Check out the burrows on this thing. People love those. All the way up. Sure, where this goes. Here's the chimneys I was telling you about. All kinds of little pretty flowers. Like two or three of these guys here. I always went and took a picture of them. Isn't that cool? The fire right up there. A little area here. A lot of people don't know that back here. 
I don't like pine, do not see this. I just see, oh, the trails. And we're just gonna be finishing up here where we came in to the left up here, a flat walk. I'm gonna start doing these little walking things. These virtual hikes. Hopefully people enjoy it. Look at that. It's just playing big dog for man. Not sure what all that was about, but that little area you can walk on. Just see the rock bluffs over here to the right. Look at that, it's just pretty. Don't have to worry about no water snakes up here, like pop a head or cotton mouth. Just had another one on you do, but this area here is timber rattlers. About it. You have fox snakes and stuff like that. Non venomous. You can hear the train. Again, there's another area people go down and see. They're close to the rock bluffs and stuff. How pretty is that? Right here. Sit here, put the chair, and just listen. Relax and do nothing. All kinds of poison. Let's see Max and stuff. Back to the area we started at, I told you it's just a flat hike. I'm finished. Hope you enjoyed this video. I got a wet foot, got some exercise. Probably about one and a half miles, 1.2 miles, depending on how lost I was. <laughs> I never lost it, right? we're just wondering. I wanted to do this last little section here. People will walk this out. I fished this here. I don't know if it's trout or what I'm fishing for. You can see the creek comes in together here. Summertime, this is low over here. It's just all sand and silt. You can see the rock bluffs over here. See a good view of the bridge. And it's just out here enjoying nature. Hopefully, this inspires you to get out and go to White Pines Park. I know I did a rough walk through as fast as possible. That way, you don't have a lot of video footage eating up the world. But you can get out and explore and enjoy yourself. That's what the nature of the game is. Die, <laughs> try not die doing it, so just enjoy yourself. One foot in front of the other, there's no easier way to do it. First step, getting out here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>